Welcome, Gemini, to your love reading. All right, we have the Emperor in reverse. What the heck? No. This is going to be, uh, we're going to check out your past, future, past, present, future. Sorry, I can't talk right now because this Emperor is distracting me in the reverse. Um... I don't know who this person is, but it looks like they're trying to desire some control. There's a lot of manipulation and chaos and disruption when it comes to an energy. You could be dealing with an Aries, doesn't have to be, or a fire sign. Aries Leo Sagittarius, again, doesn't have to be that sign. It feels like you could only go up from here. This person did the most. I feel like they did enough to hurt you here, okay, Gemini? And I feel it had to do with a third party or some selfish behavior. Yeah, somebody was wearing a lot of mask here, very deceitful, not honest, hasn't had a, an awakening or doesn't even, they're not even, I don't know, I can go on forever about this emperor. It doesn't, it seemed like they put you through a lot of stuff. Page of Cups, lovers. We're going to give advice from Spirit too. Oh my gosh, yeah, they put you through so much shit. So much sleepless nights, anxiety, stress. Oh, now they're feeling sad and regretful. I don't know. I don't know. I don't trust this energy at all. Yeah, I feel like you're listening to your intuition, going within, soul searching. I feel like this, this uh, situation really made you go within at this time. I do feel that. I feel like this um, was probably, you know, something that really impacted your life or did impact your life. The challenge is the Ace of Pentacles. So there is, you know, it was a very rocky foundation with um, something that needed more structure, balance. And I feel with the Page of Cups, there could be an apology coming in or somebody curious or like maybe a surprise in your energy of some sort. Okay, maybe a new interest. And here we have the lovers of making a choice. Someone is uh, thinking about all the investment or they're feeling a bit impatient because they're feeling a bit regret and sad and feeling a loss. Okay. They're feeling impatient because they're feeling a loss here. And that's why I feel like this person could be in and out of emotions, maybe wanting to come towards you. We do have a Cancer Scorpio Pisces coming into the reading also. But it does look here with the Five of Swords as the overall energy of this. I feel like you may be going in, you know, more of a withdrawal, more of soul searching, isolation here. Maybe, you know, just going within, trusting the unknown, following your intuition. But with, again, with the Four of Swords, this is recharging. This is needing to rest after a period of struggle or maybe this could be a divorce or separation for some of you guys. Something that caused a lot of stress and heartbreak and sadness and worry. And I feel that you may be giving yourself as much time as you need until you move onward, okay? Until you move forward from this. This is a very sad, uh, unfortunate situation that I feel like really impacted you where you really had to go within. So let's clarify and see what this lovers is. Five of Wands, Three of Pentacles. It looks like you're not wanting to fight. It looks like there may be some forgiveness or making amends with the situation from the past as you're more going within. Um, let's get the Page of Pentacles. I mean, Page of Cups. Let's get one more for that Ten of Cups. It looks like, yeah, shattered dreams and healing from shattered dreams from a connection that, you know, felt promising. I do feel like a strong marriage for some. You guys could have some tattoos for some. But the Three of Swords is saying that there's healing, releasing, and now relaxing and recharging. And I feel like you are making some you're getting a lot of clarity within yourself here okay because you're coming up so wise take as much time as you need someone got caught they were impulsive didn't care about the consequences 
I feel that something that really made you happy just brought also made you very, very sad. And the lovers are saying there's a disconnect, a disharmony, a separation here due to some deceit. Okay. And impulsive behavior. Someone may not be taking accountability of their actions. So you, they probably till this day not taking accountability of their actions. That's why it was so hard to heal. But I feel like you are doing really the inner work and coming in looking really good here looking amazing here feels like an injustice for sure and could have dealt with this, somebody that was mm, the emperor in the reverse is so messed up so selfish like one-sided they'll do anything to control a situation i feel now they're in their head strong fire sign they're feeling weak they're feeling they're doubting themselves now like they have to appear to look strong but they're not They can't even move forward. If they're sad, I feel like they go more in the foolish part, like they act foolish when they're sad. Instead of, see the emperor upright is a very disciplined, loving, you know, responsible energy, CEO. This person like is growth, right? They grow, they succeed, nothing's gonna stop them. And when it's in the reverse, it's complete opposite. It's a reckless, this person has no growth, they're unstable, they're insecure as hell, they have a big ass ego, you know, they operate from you know, very dark parts of them and they hurt people around them. And I feel like that's what you, you know, the, what you dealt with. And I feel now this person is like some, like not able to move on, not able to, to move forward from this connection. I feel like you've done the real healing here, okay? Like you've done the real healing. And I feel you're gonna be getting solid opportunities for your life because you're, you, it's like you gained wisdom, you gained growth from the situation. You're not operating from hate and resentment and control. I feel maybe maybe some of you have, did a little bit, but I feel like you are no, you're you're less, literally heartbroken from something that was like felt like it was a dream come true or to last a lifetime, maybe forever, and now that got shattered for you, okay, by someone very very hurtful. Now, there may be an overwhelming feeling in the near future because of a message. Now with the um, Page of Cups, I'm just gonna say what it is. It's, a, it's an energy that wants to come in, but they wanna create illusions, okay? It's, they wanna, they're talking from, for their own personal gain. So they can you know, hype you up or be infatuated by you or sweet talk you or tell you things that they wanna hear, uh, you wanna hear, but they don't mean it. That's what the Page of Cups is. They say things they don't mean. Mm. There's that three, okay, yeah, you're dealing with the player. And there's a need to protect your energy and to take the higher road. It's like this person goes in and out of relationships or in and out of energies. The King Knight of Cups with the Page of Cups, once again, is the worst combination. This is an uncommittal, one-sided player, okay, who has deep issues and their mood switches and they go in and out of, like, everything but they create stories to make them believable so you won't catch on a third party or other energies that are involved with them so they'll act like there's nobody else and you're the only one that's what this is now something here with the judgment either they're wanting to come come in to have you back in their life or and, and to collaborate with you and work on things but this is also what they're doing over here um, or there's a, you know, there's a big awakening when it comes to this situation, okay? And you may be starting new beginnings elsewhere or growing other things into your life. So let's go ahead and see what this person isn't telling you. They're reminiscing about you. This is why they're in your energy. They're thinking about you heavily. I'm ready to take a leap of faith and risk it all for you. That came out in reverse, which is the fool. They're foolish. Can we start over? 
I thought I saw another card. Nope, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Looks like there may be a second chance here. They are sad. They are regretful. Absence. As more time passes by, fill a deeper void without you in my life. And uh, I'm afraid of commitment. And I wish I could. Fantasy. Sadness. I feel like I've lost you and I'm not coping well with it. And I'm not sure if we both feel the same way about each other. And then it says trust. I have a hard time trusting anyone. I'm doing just fine on my own. Everything that they say and do, I feel, is just a lie. I don't feel like this person is stable with what they feel. I feel they're not being true to themselves. They kind of like go like with their, their emotions. There's like really no logic or thinking things through with this person. So I do see that this is a pretty reckless energy. Mm -hmm. It's like... It's like you here with the hermit are, is not going to be going up and down with their emotions anymore. I feel like you're seeing right through it now. Just like, okay, just because you come in and want this doesn't mean I have to want it too. Doesn't mean I'm going to just accept it, you know. This is their emotions towards you. Hidden truths. I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. It could be yours. I know that I crossed the line with you. I want to tell you how I feel. I don't know how, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. I will wait for a sign from you. Hmm. It was my fault, but I blamed you. I want to start over. Now that's twice now. This person wants to start over. Okay. Oh my goodness. Who are you dealing with? You, ugh, that emperor man. Let's get advice from spirit. I feel like we need advice here. You are seeking nourishment from the wrong source. Learn to make fun of yourself. Rid your mind of all desire for or against anything. Rid your mind of all desire for or against anything. Detach from the drama. Yeah, drama person over here for sure. It's not about winning. I agree. It's not about winning. Faith without the work behind it is pointless. Trust is at issue. Use your gut and don't engage in the emotions. Trust the positive nature of the universe. Yes. Don't lose yourself in love. Hello. Oh, and then right here, flowery words should not be trusted. I had to look in the bowl. I mean, there was a reason, so I did. So <laughs> let's get more advice for you guys using the Moonology. So this is more for you for right now. What? is the advice for you honor your feelings first quarter moon in pisces okay honor your feelings okay all right well i'm just gonna get those full moon in leo go wild last quarter moon in aries work through your feelings and first quarter moon in taurus release control first quarter moon in scorpio release your blocks okay I think that's great. Honor your feelings, work through your feelings, release control, release your blocks, and go wild. Yeah, just go wild. I love it. All right, let's see. Manifesting miracles. Your dreams is so soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. It's important to take it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. So you are manifesting some great things into your, your life here, guys. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here for you. If you do like this message or if it helped or resonated in any way, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys very, very soon. God bless.